This video is brought to you by 3, bringing you 4G at no extra cost. Hey guys, welcome to Beatex. It's Basil here with the Nokia Lumia 735. The Lumia 735 is one of two variants announced here at EFE. You've got the 730 and the 735. The 735 will have uh, LTE, whereas the 730 is dual SIM um, and therefore won't have LTE. If we take a look at the actual phone itself, you can see it's styled very similarly to the older Nokias, Lumia like 1020, Lumia 920, etc. We actually really miss that styling. Kind of glad it's made a comeback with that unibody design. It feels feels very rich in the hand and it supports wireless charging despite not being too thick. If we look at the front, you can see a front-facing camera. Now this is a big part of the phone. Five megapixel front-facing camera and a Lumia selfie app. This is a very selfie-centric device. You can also see an OLED display on here, assuming it has Nokia's clear black technology. And in addition, three buttons which are on screen. On the right-hand side of the device, you can see a volume rocker, a power button, and no physical camera button. You've also got a micro USB connector at the base, no buttons on the left-hand side, up at the top three 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back, 6.7 megapixel f1.9 camera, complete with flash. And you've got what looks to be a speaker right there. You've also got a microphone on the bottom side. Like we said, in hand, first impression, it feels like a very rich device, despite being a lower end uh, mid-range offering. Looking through the user interface, it's Windows Phone 8.1, pull down notification trait, variable number of, um, sorry, variable number of live tiles, and you can even add folders to that mix, as well as offering an applications tray, which is vertically scrolling. Nokia has improved the experience to take advantage of that front-facing camera with that Lumia selfie app, like we said. This means that you'll be able to take uh, selfies and whiten your teeth, make yourself look slimmer, in addition to removing some shine, etc. What else is on here is a new and improved version of Cortana, courtesy of Microsoft. This improved Cortana support will involve um, include things like geolocation fencing, so you can say, Cortana, remind me of this when I get home. And then when you get home, it will remind you of just that. You can also activate Cortana when the screen is powered off, which is a very, very nice <laughs> touch, like the Moto X. On top of that, internals include a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor, 1.2 gigahertz with one gig of RAM. One gig of RAM might not sound like the world, but this is a Windows phone device, and habitually, Windows phone devices tend not to stutter and are very efficient with what they have in terms of hardware. LTE in the UK, like we said for the 735, the 730 will support two SIM cards. So that has been a hands-on with Lumia 735. For more on this and other devices, fire a comment in the comment section below and stay tuned to BTEC. If you like the video, click like. If you like the channel, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.